Hey, this is Tom from Cavaliers Gaming, and in today's video, we're going to look at what it will take to fully upgrade the sandbook from level 0 all the way to level 6, which is a new thing in the Season 2 updates. So we're going to start by looking through each of the levels and what each level will take to upgrade. Then we're going to finish with the total upgrade cost of what you'll need to farm to fully upgrade this ship and get all the perks that you will receive. So let's start from level 1. Your level 1 is the cheapest of them all. Um, it will give you an increase of hull house to 40,000 and increase of grey strength to 7,500. And it will cost you 18,000 silver to upgrade parts to Magnite Ignots, which you get from Magnite Ore. And you can refine those at a 3 to 1 ratio. So for those two Ignots, you will need 6 ore altogether. And then you'll need a 40 green heart plank and you get green heart planks by refining green heart wood um, which you can chop down and you for every five wood you chop down you can get one plank and then last but not least 20 cogwheels and the cogwheels are dropped from the companion and all the french ships for settlements so anywhere where you're attacking the french which you'll do plenty to upgrade the samba you'll be able to get cogwheels. Moving on to a level 2, this costs slightly more at 25,000 silver, 3 of great parts, 25 wood pitch. So wood pitch is a new ingredient that was introduced um, at the start of the season and it is made from wood tar. So for every 5 wood tar you have, you can make 1 wood pitch. And you can get wood tar from French settlements, from ships. You can also purchase some of it from the camps. So yeah, a lot of different places, ways to get that. Um, and then you'll need a 15 torsion springs. So torsion springs, um, they come from plundering French forts and the capital, and also from some convoys and um, contract bosses, bounties. And last but not least, you need another 35 of those cogwheels, which you'll have no issue getting by when you're trying to grind through for the wood pitch and the springs. And this sample level 2 gives you a measly upgrade, which is just to increase your cargo to 75,000. Level 3, though, um, this is the speed increase. So this will increase our top speed to 12 knots and our trim speed to... 16 knots, it will also give the ship a new perk which will improve how, how quickly it turns um, in the sea. And this is also the first upgrade that was cost us pieces of eight. So you will require five and a half thousand pieces of eight, four of great parts, 80 planks, 30 wood pitch, 20 torsion springs, and a new item that we haven't seen yet, um, 15 mecha orcas mechanisms. Um, these mechanisms you can buy from Yatina's shop pieces of eight and they cost 1500 pieces of eight for each one. For level four things are getting more and more costly. Um, what we do is we get a increase of hull health again to 45,000. So that's our second increase and you get an additional 5,000 in that one. And an increase in breast strength to 9,000. So the previous level would have been 7,500. That's another one half thousand increase and it will cost you eight thousand pieces of eight five of great parts 40 wood pitches 30 torsion spring 70 cog wheels and 20 mechanisms so all stuff that we had to see before and now moving on to the costly one which is the level five upgrade this is the one that increases your ship rank to level six and your furniture slots to six which allows you to hit that top rank in the game with your ship and this will cost you fifteen thousand pieces of eight five upgrade parts 25 springs 20 mechanisms and our first new item 25 snoo strings and um, the strings you can get from plunder in the Faro capital so you'll have to go and move on from the French and attack them a few times. You'll then need a 20 eels twine. They're again purchasable from the shop at 1500 pieces of eight each and 45 dry casting sand. So this dry casting sand is another one of the new items introduced in season five. And it is made from casting sand. And for every five casting sand, 
you can get on one dry cast and it works exactly the same as the wood tar, the wood tar and the wood pitch and the lacquer as well. And you can get this cast in sand by attacking Ugandan settlements and ships. So we're moving well away from the French on this one. And then we have the last of that upgrade, which gives us the last perk uh, and level six. So that will cost us 17,000 pieces of eight, six of great parts, 30 strings, 25 mechanisms, 30 strings, 25 toys, and an additional 50 wood pitch. It's a hell of a lot for this one upgrade, but the perk definitely makes it worth it. So yeah, now we're seeing what it costs at every individual level. Let's actually go and have a look at what the total cost and all the materials we need to grind through this upgrade. So firstly, we will need 43,000 silver, 45,500 pieces of eight, 25 upgrade parts, two magnet knots, 120 green heart planks. That, those green heart planks, if you're going for the raw material of green heart, you need to get 600 green heart. 125 cargo wheels, 145 wood pitch, which would require you to find and plunder 725 wood tar, 100 springs, sorry, 120 springs, 80 orcas mechanisms. Those mechanisms, uh, as you can purchase them in pieces of eight, that would set you back 120,000 pieces of eight, 55 strings. 45 eels twine and the eels twine again a purchasable piece of eight and would set you back another 67,500 pieces of eight and 45 dry casting sand again they're crafted from casting sand with a five to one ratio you'd need to go and find yourself 225 casting sand to complete all the upgrades and there you have it you now know how much it costs to upgrade the sandbook all the way to level six and let us know in the comments, is it worth it? And will you be upgrading your sandbook over the course of the season? And if you found this video useful, uh, give us a like. And if you'd like more Daily Skull and Bones content, please subscribe.